like I said, I said it on Friday. You know, I, I need to see more out of him. He needs like the pressures and stuff. It, it's cute. It, it's cool. It's it's a good stat for PFF to to do. But sacks count. Pressures don't. I need. I, I want to see him get the court. And he knows it. He needs to. He knows he needs to be better. He know, he knows he needs to get the quarterback on the ground a couple more times because he's been sitting on that four and a half for a while. I still think there's value in actual pressure. Like from what my understanding, and I and I had to go back to find out. Everybody in the chat knows like the definition of a pressure per PFF. This is the quarterback breaks the pocket. I'm assuming. I mean, if anybody wants to find the exact definition of how they define their, their pressures, but I think there's still something to be said when you do rush a, a thrower into like a pass that they're that, you know they're off key with it. I, I think Hutch is giving you that, but I, I mean you're right. A sack is obviously better than than those situations too, unless you try to come back at a game that stops the clock, but. Either way, when it comes to Hutch, I, I it's just so early, and I'm not, I'm not like I don't feel good like making a, a final assumption on like who he is or what he's gonna be, especially like this soon. Maybe after like next year, we'll have like, a, a better idea, a more concrete idea. But I do watch. I was during Thursday night last week. I watched T.J. Watt I just look like a psychopath out there, and he's screaming, and he, there's no dancing. He's just, he's just fucking straight like war cries. Yeah. You know, uh, we watched Max Crosby here in Detroit Monday Night Football. Same thing. No, no dancing. Straight war cries. Yeah. Like, like you'd be kind of timid to approach that man in that moment. He's, he's, he's on a murderous rampage. Mm-hmm. That's the vibe you get. Versus, and there's no, I don't want anyone to take this wrong way, but Hutch is, you know, kicking his feet, doing little dances. You the, sound like a boomer right now. Hitting the Dougie. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm just saying there's a difference though, right? Because I would say that Max man Crosby. Man turns 30 and starts judging people for dancing. <laughs> All right, we're doing yeah. TikTok dance for audio listeners. I apologize. But <laughs> five stars. Would you say that TJ Watt and Max Crosby are, are better football players and edge rushers than, than Nate Hudson? Yes, I would. And would you say there's a difference in like personality traits there? Like like one's fucking like they're savage kill mode. They're definitely two of the most intense football players in the NFL. Right? I just I, I don't know. And it's kind of I guess would would coordinate with Clap and Cheeks comments a little bit too. I don't know that AG has any of those type of pieces yet. Like, when I look at, like, the Eagles, like, and granted, like, obviously I mean, Jack Campbell's kind of like that. He is intense. And maybe he develops into that at yeah. some point. Like, again, another guy too soon to speak on. But I don't know that AG has any tools that are that. Like, they're just, like, fucking savage mode. And then great at what they do. Versus when I look at the Eagles, I can line up, like, three of those guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they have any, like, anybody that's on that to par against these other teams. We're going head-to-head situations, too. So, I, I don't know. Maybe Hutch... I'm not I mean, blaming his lack of sex on dancing. No, I'm not blaming his lack of sex on dancing. I'm just saying I think it's a mentality. I think there's a, think there's a savage mentality you're seeing out of these guys like T.J. Watt and Max Crosby versus just – I mean, and Hutch is still a savage. Don't get me wrong. you got to be like at some level a savage to play the game at that level. But I just don't know if he's that level of savage. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't know that Kayvon's there either, by the way. I just think he's got a tremendous skill set for rushing the passer. Yeah. So a lot of things you like about James Houston, that Kayvon possessed himself on top of having Dexter Lawrence in the middle there too. But I, I don't know. Wilson says Von Miller was dancing like that too in his prime. Was he? Mm-hmm. I feel like Von Miller's a dancer, but I don't, I don't, I'm not too familiar. I had to go back and watch some tape and <laughs> see if he was dancing or not. <laughs> see what these dance moves were. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, you're right. I don't some, give a shit what you do as long as you have results. You, you can go out there and you can dry hump the football if you're, if you're getting results. So like, like, I don't care. <laughs> Let me lick you up and, and now uh, you start grinding that football. <laughs> I don't care if you're going out there and, and mooning the crowd as long as you're getting results. So I'd, I'd like to see more results from Hutchinson. Yeah. Uh, easy hates fun. Confirmed. <laughs> I don't hate fun. You it's hate just, dancing. I don't have nothing against it. It was just an observation. Again, guys that I think we all agree are just a, a, a tier above our guy Hutch. Are just they're just beasts. Yeah, they're monsters. I just you know maybe I, I want one of those. That's all. Does Jalen Carter dance? I don't. I don't. They, t- they tell me I'm making I a don't, Carter, I don't. I don't Carter watch joke. on who dances or not. <laughs> I, it's not something I'm focused on. <laughs> I, maybe I am a no, no fun guy because Lucas brought it up during the game yesterday. Every time Odell Beckham catches the ball, he's fucking dancing. That is true. Give like a three yard gain. He's like, Ooh. yeah. The, the OB sh- Ooh. OBJ shit that's a little different. Um, no, Von Miller had the best bend outside of Derek Thomas in NFL history. Yeah, that's fair. Von Miller is a dog. Prime Von Miller was scary. 
Prime Von Miller is a, is a fucking beast. Senator Von Miller. I do like that font. Just just an observation that you know that I have. Um, and, I, and I get there's a lot of Michigan fans, a lot of Lions fans are gonna get butt hurt when you make those comments. But it's not. I'm not saying setting anything in stone here. I'm just. I'm making an ob observation. Makes an ob observation. Easy's, sure. Easy's a no dance person. No, I love the dance. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not dancing. No, no friends of yeah. mine. I don't know the words. You could dance if you want to. But I'm just, I'm you leave dance. your friends behind. Yeah. Because your friends don't dance. And right. if they don't dance for the no, no friends, friends of mine. <laughs> yeah, like I, I love dancing. Like I'm just observing. There's, there's beautiful women in Lady Jane's. Rome's got a fat old wagon on them. Like it's, I'm does. observing it. Yeah. I'm just observing it. She does. Just, just looking at it, it exists. Do you think Hutch could reach that level, though, of a uh, of, of player? Of I think so. Watt, yeah, I, de I definitely think he can. Is it a mature thing? Is it a mature thing? It's, his yeah, body I mean, it's the league? A little, bit, a little bit of both. You know, you, you put... Like I said, you get more help on the interior and out of another pass rusher to where he can't be double and triple teamed every play. Mm -hmm. That'll definitely help. And it's also like a luck thing. Like a lot of sacks are, are luck things yes. almost. Hutch had, what, four or three sacks against the, the commanders? Yeah. And like three of them were like luck? Was, yeah, <laughs> where like Carson Lutz just fell into, into it. Him. Yeah. yeah, so it's it'll happen. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. If he continues to do what he's been doing and continues to get these pressures that everybody loves so much, he's eventually going to get these quarterbacks on the ground. Chris, do you think that he'll be able to reach that the level of a Max Crosby, the level of a TJ Watt? I'm talking about Aiden Hutchinson. As of right now, I got to lean no. You know, like when, when you look at somebody and you're comparing them to that caliber, I just Ooh. feel like across all sports, Ooh. it's tough. It's tough. The I know talk. you're going to boo me. You're going to boo me, but you know what? It's one of those things where <laughs> you're comparing to the elite. The elite doesn't happen for everybody. That's what makes them the elite. It's special. Like That's I don't fair. like to I don't like to make those kind of jumps. I don't like to make those kind of jumps. So as of right now, off of what I've seen, no, because the the biggest key to greatness is consistency, and right now that has been Hutch's biggest flaw. So I think he can have special moments, and I think he's absolutely proven that so far, but uh, and he has unique things. Like, the interception thing is, is crazy. Like, that's a skill now. Like, I'm chalking that up. Last season, I was like, wow, this is wild. This guy's getting interceptions. Yeah. But what he did this season, like, that's a skill. And that's something that, you know, some of those other guys we mentioned don't really have on their resume. So he might just end up being a different player. I don't know if he can be that special, though. But he is, he is a damn good player and one that you should want. I think Hutch can get there. Yeah, I, I, you know, it Maybe just be different. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Again, I think he's a better football player than when it comes to comparison of Kayvon Tibble. I think he's like that elk. He's always going to be there to make the smart play. He's always going to be there to defend the run. He's always there to set the edge where you look at Kayvon. And maybe I'm speaking ill on Kayvon. Maybe we'll have a New York guy to discuss it and break it down with us. I just feel like if that's his job out there. You know, like Max Crosby, I mean, I understand everybody loves him as a pass rusher. He's never had a season over 12 and a half sacks. How many did Hutch have last year? Nine? Nine and a half. Max Crosby's rookie year, he had 10. And then his second year he had seven. His third year he had eight. And then 12 and a half last year, and now he's sitting at nine and a half, so he's probably going to shatter it this year. Yeah, he's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. But that's five years into the league. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's five years into the league where he, he still hasn't. I mean, 12 sacks is good. 12 sacks yeah. is good. Yeah. But is nine and a half not good for a rookie? They, they are good. Yeah. So I, I, have, I have no doubt that Hutch is going to be at that level. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Chris. I just. Yeah, I don't want to make it seem like seem like he can't get there, that I'd be absolutely stunned. It's just right now, if you're asking me that question based off of what I've seen, I'm going to, again, I'm going to kind of default to giving the elite players the benefit of the doubt and assuming that not a lot of players can reach that level. Does he have the tools? Absolutely. And, you know, and, and again, he's not even halfway, or he's just halfway through his second season in the NFL. So he does have tons of room to grow. So I'm not writing it off by any means, but... I just I reserve the elites for the, for the elites, so it's it's hard for me to make that kind of that kind of jump for him right now. I'm not I'm not necessarily mad at that. I, and I guess speaking of elite, like again, I had to. I'm just gonna go out and just say I, I probably was wrong on the, the deadline stuff because this team just isn't at that level. Like when I look at the NFL's elite, I, again I I can name elite players. Like when you go on the Eagles line, uh, you got obviously I don't know if you want to put Jalen Carter in there just yet because he's a rookie, but uh, my guy Hassan Riddick is him. Like he's he's doing it beyond just rushing the pass. Yeah, he's dropping the coverage at times. He's making yeah. plays in coverage. And he was injured to begin the year, and now he's got the I think he had the the wrist thing on thing on his hand, like the the glove or yeah. The, the hammer, but now he doesn't have it on anymore, and he's back to doing what he did last year. Lane Johnson, uh, Kelsey. I mean, those are Hall of Famers over there. A.J. Brown, 
top one or two wide receiver in the league right now, mm -hmm. without doubt. When I look at the Detroit Lions team, I just I can't point those out. You go over to the, the 49ers side of the ball. Uh, I'm sorry, Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. Those two, like, among the best at their positions. Yeah. Hands down. And, again, I don't know. Do the Detroit Lions have any guy that's the best at their position or in the conversation of being best yes. at their position? Penny Sewell. Penny Sewell, Frank Ragno. Yeah. Uh, Is Penny in the conversation yet? Yes. I feel like it, he's top three by far. If he cleans up in the holding calls. He's top. Sure. He's a top three tackle in the league right now. Top five for sure. Frank Ragnow is a top three center in the league right now. Top two center in the league right now. Yeah. Um, outside of that, though. Fred Warner, too. Yeah. I, I mean, look at the Cowboys. I don't think they have anybody elite outside of Micah Parsons. Maybe Diggs when he's healthy. I mean, Diggs when he's healthy. Demarcus Lawrence is a backup, like. As a secondary yeah. pass rusher, Demarcus Lawrence. Demarcus Lawrence. They elite? had those guys on the, on the... Demarcus Lawrence elite? Yeah. Okay. Especially for your secondary pass rusher. I'm not beefing. I'm asking. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know where I fall with it. Dak's definitely not in the no, conversation. Dak sucks. I do like Pollard, but he's not elite. Yeah. CeeDee Lamb, he might, be, he might be getting up there. I mean... CeeDee Lamb looks pretty good. He looks like... He looked damn good They yesterday. used to have a lot of guys in the offensive line, but not so much anymore. Yeah. No, it's not the offensive line it used to be at all. I, yeah, I just don't think the Lions... Stack up when it comes to that elite conversation. Deron Bland has been playing really fucking good this year. Their whole defensive the line is like low-key nice. Yeah. Well, Dan Quinn is... He's Dan Quinn is the, he is, he's yeah. the best defensive so coordinator. Him, him or Schwartz. It's, yeah. It's I mean, honestly, I might even give it to Quinn. I don't know. Schwartz on a lot of places now, too. Mm-hmm.